Hey guys, my name is Ricardo da Costa and this is DO380 Red Hat OpenShift Administration 2. How persistent storage is implemented in OpenShift is that we would have some sort of uh, storage. And here we have some storage backend. We'll talk about the storage backends in a moment. And now we need to go and represent that resource in OpenShift by an object. So we're talking about an OpenShift specific object right now and this object is called a persistent volume so the persistent volume is the provider of storage we are using the Gluster FS plugin now Gluster FS represents a uh, storage cluster a bunch of computers that are working together the purpose of the storage cluster is to provide you with scale out redundant storage using commodity hardware so if you look at your company's storage bill how much you're spending on fancy enterprise grade storage uh, every single year well it's very often expensive and it could run into hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars with Gluster FS you could implement an enterprise grade store storage solution using commodity hardware so we're told right now that we need to go to our inventory file and add a grouping for Gluster FS So let's go all the way to the top. And if you want to go all the way to the top uh, inside uh, Vim, use lowercase gg. So we're just going to go ahead and add a grouping for Gluster FS. Now, this is not enough. We still need to then go ahead and make sure who the members are. We need to go and define who the Gluster FS uh, nodes are going to be.